Well, yesterday, of course, we hosted a Facebook Live so that you could share questions that you have for Spectrum as the company's digital switchover continues all across the western New York region. Well, we got a lot of questions, and today, two on your sides, Michael Wooten took some of those directly to Spectrum, and he joins us now with what he found out. Hi there, Michael. Hey, Mary Allison. Scott, yeah, a lot of passion out there on this topic. Frankly, uh, a lot of people pretty upset with Spectrum over all of this. Now, right off the top, we want to point out that Spectrum would not do an on-camera interview with us. They've repeatedly refused to do that. Uh, we couldn't even get a phone interview with the company today. We had to settle for some emailed questions. I've been going back and forth with them all afternoon to try to get some answers to the questions that we heard most from you. The biggest concern we're hearing from our viewers is cost. One woman told me how she'll now need to lease six receivers for her home. Say she gets one of those for free for a year as part of a promotional offer. She would then have to pay $6.99 a month for the others. She'd end up spending more than 400 bucks a year on equipment and she'd pay that year after year after year. Critics kept telling me they feel like Spectrum is profiting off this switchover and selling it as something else. So we asked Spectrum, why not allow customers to purchase the receivers at cost and instead of leasing them into perpetuity? The answer, well, we didn't really get one. A Spectrum spokesperson just talked about the promotional offers and how these set-top boxes enable the best possible television experience. In researching this story, we came across this from the FCC, which mandates cable companies give some free receivers to some customers for some time. It really depends on your specific circumstances. But one thing stood out. Customers who qualify for Medicaid are supposed to get two free receivers for five years. I asked Spectrum if the company has notified customers of that. The response? Customers are being notified about their scheduled upgrade date via direct mail, bill messages, outbound calls, and messages that will appear on their television set prior to the cutover. Here's the problem. Customers have told us they were never asked if they were Medicaid eligible in order to get those discounted receivers. The letters that Spectrum sent out don't inform viewers of that offer. Finally, we asked, why won't Spectrum just offer at least a few channels, like the local stations and public access, unencrypted, so a set-top box wouldn't be necessary for those select channels? A spokesperson went to the company's main talking point. Quote, by freeing up capacity in our network, we can deliver more content and even faster internet speeds. Another question I asked today is regarding the app. You see, Spectrum keeps telling everyone that if you don't want to pay to lease these receivers, you can just get a Roku or another streaming device and use the Spectrum app for free. Well, here's the problem. It turns out they still make you get at least one receiver. You have to pay to lease it. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to a lot of customers. I repeatedly asked, is there some technical reason? Why do you have to have at least one receiver if you're not going to use it? You just want to use the app. Never got an answer to that today. To be fair to Spectrum, it's not the only cable company to be doing this digital switchover, and Spectrum insists that it will mean better HD, more channels, and faster internet for all the customers eventually. Reporting live, Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News. Interesting that he still never got the answer, though. I know, and it's an awful lot of money when you start adding it all up. And Monthly. most people have more than one or even two televisions in their home today, yeah. and that's uh, the fee for renting those boxes. It goes on and on and on. I mean, it never ends. You don't eventually own the box. Right. So you can pay hundreds. We'll stay on that story, but right now,